Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made the poppies. So I've designed it because it's Remembrance on the, on the 11th and I wanted to make a little wreath. Um, I've just done it onto an MDF ring. But you, what you could do is use like circle dies and cut out some rings and then glue them together if they're just card or do them on grey board, anything like that. Also, the pretty ones, like the Californian sort of colours, they'd be fantastic on a card for birthdays or any occasion. So they're going to be great across the board. You can obviously do just a single remembrance poppy if you want. And also, like I did it with crochet. Um, it's either maybe two years ago. Um, I made loads of little crochet poppies and sold them, and all the money went, all the funds that I raised went to um, British Legion. So, you know, think outside the box, do what you like with them. If you can help a charity, then that's even better. So, I'm going to show you how to do every element of it, how to make the leaves and everything. But And it's really cool because you don't need any dyes, it's just going to be you some paper scissors and glue basically i think that's all you need really um and then just to cut the paper down and i will show you how to do all of it so let me just get this out of the way and bring in the paper so here's a selection of the things i'm going to use so i am going to use a brighter green that but i'm just going to show you in this how i folded it and everything and then i've already taped one so i can show you the next process of it so you just need like this on the colorful poppies what I did was I used yellow so not black so I've got the black square here because obviously on my remembrance poppies I've got the black inside the red but then I did use green if you can see there inside to make that um, centerpiece there so I'm going to show you how to do all of that um, so like I was saying I used a lighter color when I made those and then I just put green pen over it but I'm going to show you exactly how to do everything I just wanted to point out where I was going with that one um so I'm just going to zoom in I think on this red card and just show you how we do that to start with so I'll just do that now so this is going to be the poppy and all you need is a four inch by three inch piece of paper to make the whole poppy that's all you need um about 10 by 7 centimeters all you're going to do is take the longer side and then just fold up to it. So just get it folded up to the top like that. Make sure that crease is nice. And then fold it in half again. So you've literally just folded it in four. So we've gone up and then we've gone over. And that's all you need to do. <laughs> it's really easy. I love it when I design easy things. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to find out where halfway is just by folding that top piece back. Like that so that's where halfway is just got a little dent in there and then all you need to do is just cut really close to these borders first of all you're going to make like a little tab thing <laughs> my descriptions are so brilliant <clears throat> so you're just going to cut upwards and then you're going to come around and aim for the outside edge just curve and then make that circular at the top if it falls off that's fine just go back in and then if you wanted to make it exactly the same, you can fold over and follow the line. But it's a petal. No, you know, it doesn't matter. If you want to, you can. But all of mine, I didn't. That slid. So the, the top one is loose to the bottom one. So just make sure you hold them. I wasn't. And then just come around. Back down to where you were. And you can trim it after. And it looks like a tree, like you've made a... A kind of tree so you can if you've got any bits like that where it's a sharp point you can just take it off if you think so it's quite a rectangular curve you know it's quite a rectangle shape and then you've got two pieces so this is your poppy flower just move these little bits out of the way and then you're just going to open those up like so and then this one like so and then you just glue them together now before you glue them together i like to curve them so just if you've got a pattern on your paper or pearlescent this is slightly pearlescent i'd say but the other papers aren't um just use your scissors and you can see how it curves just like when you do curling ribbon paper ribbon for christmas presents so just curve it each side like that that's all you need to do so let's pick this one up of this one and again the other side 
and then we just take our glue where have you gone glue there you are take our glue because it's good to do like one thing at a time because if you put it all to the side then you're leaving it to dry so that's really good so just going to pop that on top of there and like i say put it to the side and let it dry that's it and then what we'll do is we'll take our little black piece i think next so this is the stamens now all you're going to do this is a one and a quarter inch square let me just get my ruler which is about three centimeters three and a half centimeters square it doesn't really matter to be honest and then because it's a square you're just going to use it to make a sort of circle so you're starting on the edge and you're just going to curve every corner take a little bit of the edge off curve the corner a little bit of the edge off curve the corner and then back to where you started like that so you can see that is not a perfect circle but it doesn't matter so that's easy enough isn't it and then we're just going to cut a line into the center put a little bit of glue in like a triangular segment of the circle just move that bit out of the way and then do that and then i'm gonna fold that up to make like a cone like that and then again i'm just gonna let that one dry i'm being patient look at me got it today being patient so now we'll go on to the centerpiece of it i don't know what it's called should have looked it up shouldn't i <laughs> looks like the poppy seed shape so this is um are the 16 centimeters roughly i think that is 16 centimeters in inches that's going to be need a bigger um six and a quarter but again it doesn't matter you've just got to make sure you're folding this as many times as i do so we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to fold it in half again And then these can be folded back to the middle. The outside edges back into the middle. So what you've got is four. So you fold it in half and then you've done, you've got three more score lines in there. And then you're going to make all those in half as well. So that's up to you how you do that. I'll just fold all of mine into there. You want it to be, you know, pretty accurate because you're going to need this to fall right so this line i'm going to take to that line get that out of the way just to make you can use a score tool and score every centimeter or every half inch if you want to so you're getting your concertina effect that's all we're doing is making a concertina and if you've got thin paper you can just fold again you know when we folded it in two and then in four you could fold it again that score line needs to be reinforced a little bit so i can see it a little bit better you're going to come over, fold to there, and then there's one more to do, which is that one. So I'll just pick all of that up because it's easier and fold it to that score line. There, like that. Okay, so you've got all of your score lines in. Open it back up somehow. <laughs> there we go. So all of the score lines are in there. Now we've just got to make a concertina. So it's just backwards and forwards. So backwards and forwards like this. Really simple to do. Because it's paper, it's quite easy to... The score lines that are going the wrong way, it's easy for them to fall in and go the right way. So you don't have to worry too much about that either. So are just going to pop that down. Make sure they're all fairly level. If not, you can give them a little squash. And give them a, got a lovely fan for the hot weather or you've got your concertina <laughs> so the only important thing is you see here we've got these bits are facing towards this way okay now when you lay it down you want them to touch the edges to touch the surface not be up that way so you don't want to have it that way and lay it down you want to have it that way and lay it down open it back up and then we're going to add tape to every other um have you got the tape bear with me tape retrieved so not the first one but that one 
and every other one all the way up. Now you're probably not going to have to be able to see this very well so I'm just going to go on to the brighter green that I use for my poppies and it is that bright it just doesn't show inside of the poppy. Sorry about that noise that was me tucking my chair in. So you can see every other we've got that so it was led that way so not the first one but all of the others. So all the ones that have going down towards the left I've put tape on and then we're going to take the tape off each one like this and then fold it over so all I've done is that just joined it together like that so when we lay that down I've tucked it around the back again we're just going to pull that one over now why I've made it so big like you could have it as a whole length it doesn't matter and do a lot in one but you're going to cut these down obviously to only about half an inch to a centimeter high but what you're doing is you're not having to do all these concertinas over and over again because it's all there just for you ready to cut bits off like centimeter segments off and um, you've only got to do this one time then for all of the poppies so again all of them and you don't do the last one so all of them except the last one you leave the tape on it for a minute okay so you can see there you've got all of your folds in so you've got less folds now they've all come down in size um, and then what we're going to do with that it's a bit of tape sticking on that it's rolling on me so just bear with me so we've got it like that now what's going to happen is this it's going to come around and glue to that one and then what you've got is eight pieces okay so you can see where I'm going with this I am going to cut it down and I am going to do other things to it now just to keep the center together you see how that it can splay apart because I've only put tape now if you wanted to put solid glue all the way through then you could I've just put finger lift tape so my finger lift tape only catches in certain places so what I do is I'll squash it all together and I put some glue along that centre piece like that. Just rub it all in. Uh, it is a lot, but that's fine. And then I'm going to take this last piece off. Ooh, come along. Take the last piece off. And then join those two together. So I want to make sure that I get them in nicely together. I might splay those out like that. I've got it all even. And then I can just go in and make them come together like that. And then what I like to do, not that, <laughs> I like to just put my finger into each segment. So I'm just pulling them over, just to get the glue going into all of the little segments. There's one there stuck together. What you might find is if you've got tape hanging out the edge, that I obviously have, is that um, the tape starts sticking. So now when you open it up there's not a big gaping hole in the middle of it all and you can push it in together so now it's all like a nice solid little stack like that and you will splay it all out you're going to fold it up to cut it anyway but that's how I did that section okay so that's I'll just leave that to dry for a minute as well I've got that little coney piece and the other thing is a two inch strip or what's two inches about five centimeters two inch strip of green and it can be full length um you want it to be about seven or eight centimeters which is i wish i knew all this is on the top of my head I'm, you know, I'm sure i did once upon a time so two inches is about five centimeters should have known that it's obvious so I folded it in half and then I'm going to fold it back. So I'm going to be able to get four leaves out of one piece of paper, out of one two inch strip of A4. I can get four leaves. So we've got that like that and then you can fold it in half. Like that. Okay, so I find that with your scissors, because this has to be folded in half when you cut it, I think it's a little bit too thick, even though it's only fine paper. So I like to cut this paper now in half and just do two leaves at a time. I think it's just a little bit better. It'll be easier to cut. So I was playing around and drawing leaves, etc. Um, let me see if I've got a bit of paper. 
should be a scrap card so i was just like drawing leaves now when you you only need to do half of it as well so if you're going to start down here like this and then all you need to do is go up like that and then just come in to make the next one a little bit smaller and then just have a little bit like that going off like that and then you've got when it opens up it'll be a poppy leaf now once you've cut one and you're happy with it you can draw it over and over again then you've got your template so it's say if you're doing rough cutting and you'll have all your leaves fairly similar so as you can see it's got pen lines on it doesn't matter it's just a piece of card as a template and then once you're happy with your poppy leaf you could look one up online um you know like look up a real poppy if you want to get an idea and then just get your pen because i'm doing this on the right side i am going to have to cut inside of those lines though so if you just do it freehand, which is what I did initially, and then I thought it might look better if they're all, oops, similar. See, that might be similar, but I'm not that bothered. I don't need to, to do that anyway, because I know that it's going to need a little bit of a stem. So let's put in a little bit of a stem, like that. I might need some thinner scissors, they're a bit thick for this job. And then you're just going to follow the lines that you've drawn along and you know if you haven't got enough wiggles on it put some more wiggles in there go up you can wiggle it do a little lump in it things like that until you, and then when you've cut one you go oh that's a good one trace around it on card keep it close by and then you can use it oh, i don't like how big that bit is so i'm gonna actually make that smaller just going to come back on that about there and he has a lock a little bit at the top and then curve it off and then when you open them up hey presto you've got two in one so that's how i did my leaves if i could separate them <laughs> painful and you can see they're joined at the bottom so you can either just cut the whole bottom off or just stick it off so there's our little leaf for our puppy so nice and simple so we've got our leaf we've got all our bits we need now this is still probably drying so i'll leave it alone for a minute just make sure it's all stuck in and then we'll go on to this one so with our little cone we can squash that down with our finger so just put it onto a hard surface and squash it down and flatten that because you want it to sit in the poppy so you want to make sure that you've flattened the bottom or put a finger on the inside and on the outside you can use like a sharpie pen and squash it down whatever you need to do just flatten that bottom and then just get some scissors and just snip all the way around the edge now because you're doing straight lines and it's a, a circle a cone what's going to happen is every so often a black bit is, is going to fall out don't worry about it because it adds to it does, it doesn't matter it doesn't affect it you don't want to do cut loads in a row and have a big hole in it but the odd one you'll see in, um at the end i've probably got some falling down but i'm not worried about it and the other thing you can do is when you're cutting around these you can then go back in and make some of the ones that have come up a little bit big because it's quite difficult to see when you're cutting black i'm losing light today as well but i thought well it's fresh in my mind you know what happened last time with my gingerbread house don't we it was fresh in my mind then i got covid then it went fresh in my mind look there goes one two um so i thought let's get it done and then we know where it's at and you've got more time as well to make your poppy wreaths or poppies or just pretty poppy cards or decorations home decor because they're so 3d you're gonna have to make a box for them to go in if you're making a card because they are only paper and they'll get crushed in the post or it'd be nice if you know the 3d frames you get the shadow boxes they'd look great in there maybe put a bit of inky background on there put them in there so i've gone all the way around that and like i say got about five bits fell out which is fine and then you're just going to take your either your scissors or pokey tool and just curve those in to the center there's another bit fell out it's fine pulled it to up but it's fine just curve them around and around and you can see now they're cupped 
and then you can also use your skin because it's soft a little portion there just pop it onto there and then squash it and you'll see it will cup it will come open in a minute when we start putting it in and putting the center in and that but you've got like a nice little curved effect there and when we glue it onto the poppy which i'll do very shortly um you'll see that it's all fine now you don't have to do this with your poppy but what i like to do is i do the same old squash thing you can see it curves right in i don't really like the look of it like that you could leave it like that what i like to do is just tuck one side in so you can see that's gone behind the back behind the back behind the back so just all the way around like that and then you can see it just looks more flower shape to me i liked it better so we've got that and then we need to put some glue in the center of our poppy again i'm just going to do it right all over that little cross section now sometimes when you make these you'll have you can see the little gaps there sometimes you'll have that sometimes you won't it doesn't matter um they all look very similar even though they're all cut individually so you can see there you've got your poppy center and then when you've put it in you can go back in and squash it all again so just making that lovely little poppy shape so then um with the leaf i just turn it over and then on the back of one of those ones that's tucked around the back i just put a bit of glue along there and then just add my leaf to it put a bit of glue on the bottom as well because wherever that ends now you don't have to do this you can obviously put them separately on your card if you want to make an arrangement but that's how that poppy goes and then we're going to make the centerpiece and it looks really bright and gary but it's not it's weird when you um make it it doesn't do that so while it's big like this so open it up have four each side it probably fall better one way or the other so just have four each side like that and then all you're going to do now you can either hold it while it's large and dome it or you can just cut a section off which i tend to do and i'll probably use my bigger scissors stronger scissors because there's quite a few lots of um what do you call it paper <laughs> That's one and a half centimetres now, but it's probably going to go down to about one in height. So come in quite a bit, so about a third in, because you don't want it to be too big. So you come in a third, and you're just going to dome it. And you can, like I say, fold that one back now to get the idea of where you went. So the other side's the same, or just wing it. <laughs> like that. So you can see... If I open it up, we've got that dome shape going on. And they'll all come open, but I'm not going to bother too much. Then just check that it's not too big or too high. Now, I think that's too big, and I think it's a bit too high. So I'm going to go back in, try and get it so it's the same way as it was. I think that one's over there. And make it just a little bit shorter, which you can do by cutting the bottom off, to be fair. A little bit shorter, and then pull the ends in. And then you can just leave your dome that you've already done on the top. If it's a nice dome. If it's not, cut some more off. Don't worry about it. So let's just see if that looks fairly even. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then all I'm going to do is take a Sharpie, a black Sharpie. It's where I colour all over myself. And just, while it's close together like that, just colour all the edges the way around and it doesn't matter if it gets messy and it goes down the side because it doesn't show it's fantastic don't know why i'm whispering it's raining oh so much rain today so there we go just say get well soon to my sister she had covid as well and we don't even live anywhere near each other and she had to go to hospital be on oxygen overnight but she's home now Thank goodness. It's rough, isn't it? There's COVID everywhere. What's going on? The COVID doctor said to her, we treat it like flu now, but some people just need oxygen. I'm like, wow. <laughs> just a bit of flu. Nothing to worry about. Shocking. Anyway, I digress. Craft. Much more fun. So, you need to open up all these to get them so they're 
So you've sort of like got an asterisk, a plus and a cross together. And when they look like they're quite decent. <laughs> decent. <laughs> I don't know. I'm broken. Um, and we just put some glue on the bottom, on the flat bit. So on the flat end, I'm using tweezers so you can see what I'm doing. But I was holding it with my fingers. Because I like being messy. This will possibly take a while to dry. Let's tap it down. And move all this out of the way. Get the poppy back in. Put it into the centre. And you can see that brightness of that green is disappearing quickly. You've got the black on the top and the black on the bottom. Mad, isn't it? Mad. It's not really. So then I can just squash my flower around again. Like that. And there you have it. One little poppy. And I'll show you the centre. So it's bright and green if you look at it sideways but as you can see the shadows and everything from the the petals it you know it's a perfect color really so i hope you have fun making these guys and i do have a facebook page inspired by sarah jabilko so join that and share all your projects that you've made with them i can't wait to see them have a great day everyone bye